Hello, my name is Duncan and welcome to Back Away From The Donkey, or Baft Books, as I'm calling it. Today is day six of my um, Sci-Fi Masterworks series, which is uh, books I believe should be in the Sci-Fi Masterworks collection. Um, and I said I'm doing seven of these over seven days. Uh, if you want to look back, I have a video right at the beginning explaining what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and the basic rules. Uh, there's a playlist which is linked below, if we look at the stuff below it. Uh, which will have all um, episodes of this plus the um, introductions uh, so you can watch them all at once so today's day six i said the lights i'm recording when it's a bit dark again so i'm playing around with lights so i don't know how good this light is um hopefully by the end of the winter i'll have it sorted out because there's gonna be quite a few times when i'm gonna be recording when it's a bit dim and so i've got to get some light sorted in here but anyway today we're gonna be looking at frederick brown and uh, I believe we, Sci-Fi Masterworks, really need to publish a book, The Best of Frederick Brown. Now, let me say that this book doesn't really exist. There was a few uh, anthologies called The Best of Frederick Brown in the 70s. There was a collection a few years ago of two books of his work flying around, but they had never been properly put together. And if you look at the Sci-Fi Masterworks, they do occasionally put bring stuff together. Uh, they brought all the um, Robert here, Howard Conan stuff for their... Um, Fantasy Masterworks collection, all that was brought together. Uh, M. John Harrison's Viconium, they brought all that together for uh, Sci-Fi Masterworks. So I believe they should do the same for Frederick Brown. Now a lot of you will be thinking, who's Frederick Brown? Why do we want the best of Frederick Brown? Well, Frederick Brown, who was born in, I'll just check his date of birth because I cannot remember off the top of my head, 1906. Uh, and he was a writer of mainly short stories. Normally the stories were probably two to three pages long they were very quick very short ones uh not only did he write science fiction he started off writing mystery book mystery stories and he wrote um crime he basically comedy he basically wrote anything but his science fiction he wrote uh, lots and lots of it and he was well renowned in this is so from around 1936 onwards a lot of his um short stories appeared in com comics appeared in magazines things like um analog and all the famous science fiction magazines and he said he wrote about three or four novels on top of it but his short stories were what he was well known for his short stories they a lot of them almost feel like twilight zone episodes they were very very clever now the most famous of his um, short stories probably is arena and arena was actually the um short story that he based a famous star trek episode on called arena if you remember the one with um, William Shatner as Captain Kirk with this big green alien Gorn fighting in um, in what looks like a desert on a cliff that was actually parodied in um, Bill and Ted's, uh, the second film, wasn't it? Which I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Bogus Journey. Yes, it was parodied in that and they actually went to the spot. But yeah, the one with the big green Gorn, that was based on his short story. And the short story is excellent. It really is really good. Uh, he was renowned his short stories were very well and you have the likes of Umberto Eco who reckons on one of his stories like the best thing he'd ever I've, uh, his short story Sentry that was it yeah short story Sentry he said was the finest piece of work he'd ever read uh, Stephen King in if you ever read Dance Macabre he actually stated in that about uh, in the back of that about um, Frederick Brown Philip K. Dick thought he was one of the best writers out there. Robert Heinlein put a tribute to him in Stranger in a Strange Land. So he's real renowned. His short stories, though, they're all over the place, as with a lot of them that were published in the magazines through the pulp era and afterwards. Uh, a lot of them are out of um, copyright, and some of them, they're just scattered all over the place. Um, I'm going to put a link below to him on uh, Project Gutenberg, because there's a few of them up there. I've got a copy of Arena, which is out of copyright as well, uh, which I can't remember where I got it from, but if anybody wants a copy of it, just contact me. There's an email address below, and I'll send you a copy of it, because it's out of copyright, so me sharing it is no problems. But I said I really think he's such an important writer. He inspired so many people that it, there needs to be a definitive collection of all his works. And I said, Arena, go back and watch that Star Trek episode. It's excellent. But actually, the stories based on it is really, really good. And I said, if you get a chance, read it. If you want a copy of it, contact me. That's fine. But yeah, Frederick Brown, one of those sort of unsung um, writers of um, the, 
the golden age and afterwards that just sort of there and was churning away at lots of short stories and they inspired many people some of his stories you know some of his mystery stories appeared on um alfred hitchcock presents alfred hitchcock presents i think he even had a couple of put on one of his own very important writer not well known really needs to be in sci-fi masterworks and to me it's the sort of thing sci-fi masterworks really should be pushing those authors that nobody really remembers or has heard about but are so so important anyway so that's the end of day six tomorrow will be the last one i will be doing of this uh seven i may do some more in the future but that of this stream of seven i believe should be sci-fi masterworks tomorrow will be the last one i hope you so far enjoyed what i've done i said there's a playlist below also a link to the project gutenberg for frederick brown and i said if you want to get a copy of arena because i know that's not up on gutenberg um contact me um but if not just peruse the few on uh, project uh, gutenberg and read those they're all well worth reading anyway thank you very much and i will speak to you again soon